The SmartBoard Revolution Google Plus community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger. This is another episode in the adding interactivity to lessons and simplifying lesson creation with widgets. For more information on how to get the widgets, you can see my video called Using the SmartBoard in Instruction, Episode 19, Finding and Installing Widgets. This episode will look at the random selection tools two widgets that you can use to randomly select things on a page. Here we have student names. Yes, at one point all of the names were dark. I've already done it once. I could come here to my gallery. I've already installed all of the widgets. So here's my folder, widgets 0515, May 15. These are the widgets that are in there now. And I'm going to use this random object selector. So I just drag it out on the page and I clicked on it accidentally. Now one thing you'll notice is that you can't move these like normal objects. If I try to move this here, I'm clicking here in the middle and I can't. I have to get the four-headed arrow to move it and the same to select it. Now if you're at the board and you're not using the mouse then it's a little bit harder the other way to select it is to do the marquee select so you click outside of it and drag and once you select more than half of it you'll get the blue lines now you've got your drop down here's my page it's got the student names this is not locked down so this would be selected titles Anything on the page that you don't want to be selectable with the random selector needs to be locked. Now everything else is selectable. So if I created this file and had it on the desktop or whatever, if I needed to generate groups or volunteers, I could open this up, tap on go, and it randomly goes through the list and it selects one. Click it again and it's gonna go through. If I was using this to pick, you know, for answering questions or whatever, I would leave the no repeat off. Just because you've answered one question doesn't mean that you're exempt from answering others. If we were drawing names for something, then you click no repeat. It won't select Fred Flintstone again. So that's with text. This could also be done with objects. It doesn't matter. Name the state. Connecticut. All right, next. Name the state. Arizona. So you can use anything on the page. Anything except other widgets that aren't locked down will be selectable. So think about how you could use that in a lesson. There's another version of it called the random select. Click the arrow and then it lets you drop your content here. Now I tried doing this with capital and lowercase versions of all the letters. 52 objects when I dropped it there and it couldn't handle it. But if I did groups of 8 or 10 then it did handle it. So I could come in here, I could maybe select group of states here and eventually one at a time they will start disappearing as they're being added to the widget. Now you could put all 50 states in here just not at once. If you need to add more select another group, drag it to this area, drop it. Here is information about the widget. You do have some options. No repeat. Inject automatically. So after it randomly selects one, it will shoot it out onto the page. Show previous or next. When you have all your content in, the arrow here again will collapse it. So now when I click the check mark for this one, we'll select and shoot one out. So again, think what content could you put in there? Use this for some kind of a review. It can be text. It can be objects. It can be text that's been written. Right? It doesn't matter. Anything that you put in there will be an object. So this can stay on the page 
and a little bit less cluttered than having them on there like the other one. But there's a use for both of them. So the, those are the random selection tools that you can use in a notebook file.